What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Skinny Moose. And your boy Fast Squirrel. It's been a while since a prediction video has been put together, ain't it? Uh, it's been a while, Skinny. <laughs> we ain't done one of these in a while. News and updates and everything else, but a good prediction video. So, with the being said, tonight we're doing eight fucking years by H2O, night one and two. Oh, uh, well, this goes down Saturday, June the 22nd. Uh, at 8 p.m. at, uh, you know, H2O Center. So, it's night two, Sunday, June the 23rd. Yes. Can you believe it's been eight years for H2O, Skinny? Jesus, I was fucking, let me see, 16 when he first started. When turned my prior started with us yet. I was, 30, I was 32, my brother. Yeah. Imagine when, you know. I mean, it's a good lineup this year. It's a good lineup. Hell yeah, Hell yeah bro. He's got some good matches. Y'all might want to catch this one on IWTV, man. This one's going to be a banger, bro. I'm telling you. On top of that, um, X Brand and uh, XPW is running tomorrow. And I think XPW is tomorrow. It might be Sunday. But yeah. we got Bryant Woods from IWA Deep South headed up there. Fucking monster of a damn man. And you got Little Sicko. You know what? Fucking future. Future, that boy's going to be something one day. I mean, I like yeah. what he offers. And, you know, what that being said, this channel shoot. So just wait and see. Okay. Got a lot of fucking interviews posted out and everything, so let's go ahead and do this. Go ahead, Squirrel. Oh, we go we gonna kick it off, Skinny. We got the H two O championship. <coughs> Austin Moon versus Declan Grant. And not only that, it's in a dog collar match. The deck did Declan Grant hold the fucking uh, H2O championship at one time? Or was that the I daddy? Believe, I, I, believe, I believe one time he, if I'm not mistaken, I think he did hold the H2O heavyweight championship. Well, we know. Don't, look, me, don't quote me on that because I have to look it up to make sure. But if I'm not mistaken, yes, he did hold it at one time. Luke's always holding. Luke's held this belt for a while. He's fight, fought a couple of good people for it. So. You know, Luke's a good tech. Both of these men are good technical wrestlers. They're good. both good. You know, in the ring, they bring something different. They bring their own style. Although Luke really don't do death matches, he will. But it's yeah. not a so, so, strong role. But you got Declan Grant. <coughs> Excuse me. You got Declan Grant. Now, this man will do any type of wrestling you offer him, whatever you throw him in the ring with, you know. So, in this one, I'm going to give it to Luke. He's going to retain it. You're going to give it to Luke because he's going to retain it. Well, yes, sir. well Skinny, I'm, I'm going to disagree with you that on, on, on many factors that you stated yourself. One, yes. He does do death matches, but not all the time. And we're not talking about just a regular death match here, people. We're just talking about one of the most brutalest death matches that ever came out, a fucking dog collar match. I would more or less say that's a hardcore match, I guess. What, you know? I mean, yeah, I mean. I mean, but, they can yeah. always bring death match fucker in, and it's a fucking H2O, and it's these nut jobs, so. Oh, you know, yeah, they, but I'm going to disagree with you. Like I said, Skinny, I'm going to go with the boy Declan. Hey, Declan Grant, that man's fucking crazy as shit. That man is, <laughs> I've seen him do double duty. I've seen him, you know, that man will bring his fucking A game. And... <laughs> Like I said, oh shit, fucking Jess Moss, that woman will work. Oh, I think yeah. All three months angels will work. What the hell am I talking about? Oh, yeah, they'll all get in there and fight, boy. They like it. But your next match, 
skinny. It's one you might like. It's your boy NDC, Neil Diamond Cutter, putting Ooh. a Danny Havoc Hardcore Championship on the line against one of your favorites, the boy Anthrax. Good band, good fucking worker, good, good everything. I mean, this man, some people like making fun of him, but, you know, and it's a Soul Reborn Deathmatch. What the hell? I'm not for sure what the hell this is going to be. Is it going to be something? I, I have a, yeah, I kind of have an inkling it's going to have something to do with Saw Blades, my brother, for some reason. Is, is it going to be something like, I mean, England held their own death, Saw death match. So I see that uh, John and Spider from the Deep South has been, you know, they Drake and um, Thumbtack Jack was the first two from Germany, not John and Rare Thumbtack Jack, but Jack, Thumbtack Jack from Germany was the first two in a Saw Death match, and then it moved on to Spider, Budro, and John Rare. So, and now I noticed England's picked up on it, but. I wonder if a H two O has anything to do with it. So in this, I don't. I, I mean, I, I support Anthrax. I'm a big fan of him. Um, but you know, the motherfucking suplex machine. This man will fucking work, and you know. Yes, he will. But no offense, Anthrax, you got a little motherfucker. And no offense to Neil, but this little motherfucker will go. I mean, he broke his arm in NHB 40 against Dr. Redactic. If I'm not mistaken, Dr. Redactic, it was 40. When he threw that chair at Neil and went the next night and fucking fought Sakuda with a broke arm. Oh, yes, I remember that. So, I mean, Anthrax, didn't he have his head busted open? Or something oh, like yeah. That? Yeah. They busted his head. I think when him and uh, when him and Alex Stretch fought each other, Alex Stretch busted his head open. I mean, both good workers. Both's going to oh, give yeah. you all their might. Both's going to entertain you in their own way. But I'm going to have to say Neil Diamond Cutter. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a agree with you on that one, Skinny. Not because I'm taking anything away from the boy Anthrax, because that man can work. I just watched him the other day in one of the X brand shows, bro. He was killing it. Oh yeah, uh, Justin Valencio. Yeah. Shout out to Justin Valencio running X brand. Oh yeah, awesome shows, bro. Awesome shows. No hate. Fucking love that shit. If y'all ain't checked it out, it's on IWTV. Um, X brand. Yeah, check that shit out, bro. I ain't even lying. That shit about that, we're gonna have to mention some of that shit here in this video, and it would be more towards the end. But be sure y'all check it out. We'll probably just do all four predictions in one video. One we might clip it into two. So your next match is the H two O Tag Team Championship: the Pillar versus the Twos. Who's the Twos? Ah. Uh. Must be a new team or something. I ain't well, we never have, heard of it. The Pillars has held these belts for a couple months now. So oh, yeah. I'm honestly a fan of Malcolm Monroe the third. And if anybody really knows Skinny Moose, I was the first one to call his chloroform night night juice before any other commentator. Yes. So shoot. And he if he uses that night night juice it don't matter who he's facing. I mean, some of them, some yeah, of them, sleep, bro. you know, some of them get out of that shit. I've seen a couple of them. But you got Tommy. This man is fucking insane. I mean, King of the Kill, uh, King of the Kill, uh, King of the Kill, the first one winner, dude. I mean, he held the RPW belt. He's been in ICW. This man will, he's been in all over the damn place. And he's the lovable psychopath. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, Tommy. yeah. So I got to give it to the fillers here, Squirrel. I'm going I'm to agree with you on that because, like you said, they've held these belts. I don't really know nothing again about the twos. I don't know who they are, and I apologize for that. But 
Not only do you got to worry about that night night juice, man. You got to worry about if they hook up on that duck and backpack cannonball in, in that corner on your ass and it's over, bro. I mean, that, but if you can keep them to, like, somebody like me and you are wrestling on, you got to stay, you got to keep them separated. Because if them two get together, you're fucked. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah, they, yes. they have that. They have that good connection, and I'd like to see some, you know, I don't really think that nobody else should join them. They might add somebody else and make it a bigger stable or whatever, but I think that, that would be, I mean, I could see that. That would be cool as hell. I could see that happen. Your next match is a death match. Jimmy Chondo Lion against Alex Stretch. Oh, okay. Now, now, this is Chondo has so much going on right now. <laughs> he, he's getting roasted on Facebook. You know, I'm more of the social tech kind of guy and squirrel. He's more of the quiet one that sticks to himself. But we got a new gimmick for squirrel. Squirrel's got some new things coming up for y'all. So, uh, yes. with that being said, you know. Uh, Squirrel remembers a lot of wrestling, and I like I said, I'm your tech guy, so Squirrel, you remember correctly when this was Alex Stretch and Austin Luke for this H2O belt, right? Yes. And Chondo cost it the belt? Uh-huh. Yeah, after that... We had Austin Luke versus Chondo, and then Stretch costed him the belt. Chondo the belt. So now we have Jimmy Chondo Lion versus Alex Stretch. Well. And a death match. So, <sighs> he has like three matches this weekend. So, you know... I don't really know if he's really worried about this match. I mean, this has been going on for like a couple months. It's all right. Um, oh, yeah. But Tondo is now a heel. He's want, I have a feeling he's wanting a belt. But, you know, Stretch, Stretch is uh, – Anthrax's partner, he's in there with Lady Blakely and the godfather of Deathmatch Wrestling. One of the godfathers, I'll say it like that, Low Life Louis Ramos. With that being said, they make a, a peace, love, and death match. So, Chondo, no offense, Chondo, you know, you're, you're, you're one of the, I like you a lot. You're fucking crazy. No offense. But you got too much going on right now. So I'm going to have to give this to Stretch. I want me to lose this prediction. I'm going to agree with you on that because I like Alex Stretch and Alex Stretch is my boy. And we already knew who I was going to pick. Nothing against John Doe. You know. You don't work. You don't work. You know. I mean, sometimes that works like that. But the thing is, is this is on on uh, this is on Saturday, and I thought the yeah. other two shows. If this is on, uh, yeah, Saturday. If this is on Saturday, then I don't know if the other two shows are before that or after that. So it really depends on if 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 he's going to be you know rested enough to fight. You know what I'm saying? And then how does this work for the rest of his? <laughs> I'm not really for sure. <laughs> well, it's Sunday. So this is his first. This is his first fight for uh, the weekend. Because the next day at 1130, about 12 o'clock, whatever time, Chondo gets in the ring. Sunday will be his second match. Then Sunday night, he has to wrestle again. And we'll get to that, but I think Chanda's going to lose the stretch because I think these other three matches are more important.
Well, this ain't listed, but it's Kennedy. It just says Kennedy Hardcastle, which is Kennedy Copeland. Gigi Everson. So that's a tag team. Versus Killdozer Matt Tremont and Jess Moss. Oh. Now, I'm not really for sure what's going to happen here. I mean, didn't Jess Moss turn over to Tremont? Turn evil or whatever? So let's see what's going to happen here. We got two evil ones. And, you know, both of these workers... Kennedy and Gigi will do death matches and hardcore matches, but they're not really too keen on it. That's not really their strong suit. But Kennedy, we know that Killdozer, that's his thats his thing. He loves his death matches. Or he's a technical worker and Jess Moss. So <coughs> I'm going to give this up to Tremont and Jess Moss. Well... I'm I'm gonna disagree with you. Oh. When they get Tremont or, or any of that, or Jess Moss, because I like them both. They're both good workers, like you said. But you gotta think, man. Jess turned on Kennedy and all of them. Well, that's so true. She's looking for revenge, and we be. I don't know. You just like fighting motherfuckers, so. I mean, maybe Tremont might always to save his energy for the next night, but, you know. Yeah. Your next, next match. match. Oh. Squirrel's about to announce your next match. But I don't right. even know who the fuck these people are. South Street Survivors versus Completely Unstable Machines. I have no clue, and I mean that with the utmost respect, who neither one of these people are, or groups. I have I have no clue who these people are. I like, their name. <laughs> I like the play, completely unstoppable machines' his name, so I guess I'll take them for that match. Mm, I'm agree with you, because... They seem like, I mean, if you come up with a tag name, you got to be some powerful motherfuckers, you know. Your next match is the President Cabinet and Aaron Wade versus Cilio Vega, J.B. Anderson, TJ, TJ Reno, and Cody Manhorn. Oh. Hoochie Daddy. <laughs> So in this match, I got a, I'm not really a fan of the president's cab, cabinet, and Aaron Wade, I've heard of him, I'd have to see him, but Selena Ve Celio Vega, J.B. Anderson, T.J. Reno, and Cody Manhorn, I'm going to tell you right now, you don't want none of the hoochie daddy, so I'm going to take the hoochie daddy. I'm I'm gonna agree with you and go with Cilio and JB and Cody Manhorn and TJ Reno because ain't nothing against the president's cap. I just I just don't like how they they do things. Well, that I, I, that's it. night one. Now night two is Danny Havoc Hardcore Championship No Rope Bob Wire. Fireboard Deathmatch. It's Neil Diamond Cutter versus Casey Kurt, which is Brandon Kurt's wife. I mean, Casey's been here and there. She's really not wrestled here lately. I mean, like she has, but not as much as she was before. Yeah. But, again, I don't see my boy Neil Diamond Cutter win, losing this belt. So he's going to win, he's going to retain, and he's going to wait until July for his next match. So I'm going with Neil. Sorry, Casey. I'm going to agree with you on Neil for the simple fact that if I do not remember, and correct me if I'm wrong, Skinny, didn't Casey Kirk and Brandon Kirk screw Neil Diamond Cutter out of his championship? At uh, Battle of the Tough Guys, the second one, yes, sir. Oh, this is his, this is his little retribution. Now he's champ. 
<laughs> and he keeping that belt, bro. That's like his fucking lifeline, bro. Oh yeah, you know it. Well, the next match is a mask versus career. Kill Dozer versus Casey Kurt's husband, Brandon Kurt. Now, how do you think that one's going to play out, Skinny? Well, like you said, you know, Brandon come out there. He made this match. He's putting his H2O career on the line, which ain't no surprise because, you know, he's been working for GCW. So, you, you got the mask here, and it's been almost a year. I mean, like few months um i'm kind of tired of the i'm tired of the kill dozer i want tremont back i mean i know it's the same but like, it's not yeah, yeah. i, I understand so, you on that one i want to have to you know tremont's been on this rage lately but i'm gonna have to go with brandon kurt i would like to see kurt win and you know, because I don't think he's done with H2O. I think he still wants to try to retain and win that Danny Havoc belt back. Well, I'm going I'm to disagree with you on that one. Skinny. Not nothing against Brandon Kurt because I, I give him props, bro. He made it to almost the finals in, in the Tournament of Survival this year. Very good showing, for real. Like, he, he did pretty fun good. But like you said, man, when 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 Tremont goes to be killed, dozer dude, he's just a totally different person. He does not care if he hurts you or he don't. That's true. Then you gotta take. Then you also gotta take into account now. Jess Moss is with him, so is Jess. Will Jess Moss put herself in the match? I mean, you know, you got Casey that could come out there too. So let's see what'll happen. But. Yeah. This match has been in the making for a while now. You know, this is one of the matches I think Tondo's saving himself for. So this match is at 6 o'clock. Night 2 of H2O on Sundays at 6 o'clock. And at Jimmy Tondo Lion, Madman Pondo, and Shadow WX versus Peace, Love, and Deathmatch. Oh... So Chando's been cut promo for this shit like fucking crazy. You know, Chando's been getting <laughs> roasted here lately since he wanted to face hardcore. We'll have to cover that. But damn, dude, this shit's beginning to get deep. And, you know, he, he he's threatening to have... One of them, I think it's Alex Stretch, caught on fire. So, is it Lady Blakely? I think she's in it. Or is it going to be Louie that fights? I mean, it could be Lady Blakely. It could be Louie. You never know with them. I mean, I'd like to see Louie. You know, Chondo Stretch, Pondo Anthrax, Louie Shadow. Yeah. So that would be pretty good. But don't take none against Lady Blakely, bro. She is one of Tremont's Angels of Death. Yes, sir. And I'm going to have to say, you know, no offense to Peace, Love, and Death match, but you got the Legend Pondo. You got the Legend Shadow. Even though you got the Legend Louie in there, you got two Legends. That outbeats one Legend. So, yeah. let's go ahead and call it as we say it. I don't know. I, I can't choose on this one because, like you said, man, you got you got Pondo, you got Shadow. And I like Peace, Love, and Death Match, so I can't. I can't pick which one, bro. It's, that one's hard. I'm sorry. All right. So, he's non-binary. I respect that. But your, but your next match is Cody Manhorn versus Aaron Wade. Oh, I'm gonna. Have to, this will probably be a technical match, a regular match. 
But, you know, I'm going to have to go with the boy Cody Manhorn. Yeah. Because I don't really know too much about that Aaron Wade. I think I've seen him, like, maybe once or twice. But I really didn't know too much about him. But I've seen Cody Manhorn fight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna agree with you on that one, Skinny. It's gonna be it's gonna be Cody Manhorn. But you got a mystery hardcore scramble. So the hell? what is a mystery hardcore scramble? I guess it's I, mean, I be get a- the scramble part. I get the hardcore part. But what's the mystery? It's like nobody's gonna know who's in it. Is that what they're saying? I'm guessing so. So with that being said, who who you who you think would show up, bro? Though. It's a mystery, so anybody can show up to H2O. I mean, come on, man. You might see Danny DeMono. Christian Ross. There's Bradley. You might even see Remington Ward. Well, I, I I would like to see Hardcore in there. I mean, like, bro. That would be cool. Yeah, Hardcore. I mean, X brand, you know, we'll call X brand here in a little bit, but I don't know. You got like two. Jimmy Lloyd can be in there. Drake Younger. You got fucking MM3 that could be in there. You got fucking Slack. I mean, maybe Slack. You got fucking, um, uh, shit. Well, no, I don't think so. I was going to say uh, Jimmy Controversial, but I don't think so. Don't you got know. motherfucking... There's... <coughs> the en- options are endless. And then... Then you got Bam Sullivan's open challenge. Who do you think going to step up into Bam? Maybe the Carver? Could be. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it could be anybody, man. Shit. I mean, but that's your eight fucking years, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, sir. Skinny Moose out. Bastro out. <laughs>